Hey everybody, welcome to Consternation. <laughs> yeah, this is a spooky maze game that I found on Game Jolt. Hi. Uh, there's also a sequel that I'm playing directly after this one. So yeah, let's go. I like spooky maze games. Also, this is uh, pixelated. So it's like, whoa, my god, I'm fast. Developed by uh, Crack Ghost Games and Raster Entertainment. Okay. That's cute. It's just a way to see the credits. Is it cl click? There we go. Oh, wait, I hit F to go full screen. So I think it's click. Okay. Easy mode, checkpoints. Hard mode, no checkpoints. Let's go hard mode. Let's just see how. It, let's just see how it does. Fuck. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Okay. Might need to increase the sensitivity a little bit. I always try not to. I try not to have the sensitivity too high. That way, I'm not like whipping the camera around a lot. People hate that shit. Say, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Okay, so I just walk into it. I only need uh, to click anything. Am I walking in a circle? No! Ah. Very loud. Very, very loud. <laughs> God damn it, I found the same shit. Ugh. Alright. Maybe I will play easy mode so I can get checkpoints. The doors I'm looking for have the weird square on them. Got it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this, just so I can make progress in the game, because I know this is going to be frustrating. Hi. Oh, I found the exit. Damn it. I haven't found the key yet. God damn it. I think I know where the exit is, too. I've been working on this level for about 20 minutes now. It's actually really difficult, in my opinion. So I think the exit is right over here. There we go, yeah! Okay, thank God I put on checkpoints, because that's hard. So we're gonna get, now we're, now we're gonna get more variants. All right. <laughs> I was getting all flustered and like <laughs> panicky as soon as I got the key. I can definitely tell that. Is it the same one? I think that's the same boy that was chasing me. But you didn't really chase. It kind of works like a Pac Man ghost. Like, oh, here's the exit. 
Okay, so the key's probably on, like, the opposite side of the map. I want to see the... I keep hearing the thing. It sounds like a shuffling. Like... Zh -zh 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 -zh. I'm sure I'll see it before I find the key. Nope. Nope, don't care. Leave me alone. Man, thank God I put on uh, easy mode. Otherwise, I would be... I'd be happy right now. I'd be so thrilled. <laughs> Yoink. Alright, got it. I feel like the exit was back this way. Please be back this way, pretty please. Yes. Okay. Woo. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That one. I always. I was only on that one for three tries. I think. So that one's not bad. That first one got me a lot. <laughs> I still love that one. Oh, he was right there too. Oh, that one is. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Crepes. <laughs> what? Don't say that. I don't like that. I don't like that behind you shit. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Damn it. The sounds are actually coming from where I think they're coming from. Great, well I found the exit. That stop play means that... Uh... Alright. So that, after playing that one for quite a bit, I finally just found the exit. So I think I'm good on this one. So let's check out number two. Because number two, they totally dropped the uh, spooky maze. Whoa! I all tabbed out, and I'm... <laughs> Alright, let's check out number two. Okay, now to consternation two. This one drops the horror maze aspect, I believe. It is more just a spooky, pixelated game. Yeah. Oh, apparently we're recording. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's... What does that say? Fake. Cool kid alert. Oh, okay. I guess let's go this way. Also, it's so apparently consternation means, uh, oh. Nope, it's here. Oh, I get it. Somebody wrote, it's here, and then somebody put nope above it. I would nope out on that as well. Uh, consternation is a feelings of anxiety or panic, I believe. Uh, right mouse button to zoom your flashlight. Zooming your flashlight increases how far you can see. Okay. Got it. And there is sprint, okay. Uh, is it like a spray paint can? Nut. <laughs> okay. Oh. But doesn't show where I am. Uh, press F to turn on night vision. Uses battery. Uh, once it's gone, it's gone. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Bloody wankers. <laughs> uh, Satan is here. Yay! <laughs> A green jacket? Where? Good question. Asking all the important questions here. Uh, okay. 
So I said they ditched the horror maze aspects. So where's the horror? And why am I still in a maze? Is it really a maze though if there's only one way to go? Okay, oh, here we go. So this is the the two dots right there. Where did I start at? <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Door stuck. Maybe I can find something to open it with. Okay. So I'm at the long hallway up top. Okay. I did find that thing on the ground that I thought was a spray paint can. On April 14th, 2015, two urban explorers were exploring an abandoned factory in rural Maine when they stumbled upon the corpse of a woman who had gone missing months before. She was a tall woman. The autopsy reported that she was extremely malnourished. However, she or her cause of death was from multiple stab wounds and a cervical fracture. Uh, police were never able to find the killer. The next year, police walled off the facility. The site is very popular with the urban explorers and paranormal investigators alike. Some tell tales of seeing the murdered woman. Others hear screams emanating from the inner parts of the building. Tonight, you are going to prove whether or not these rumors are true. Equipped with nothing more than a digital camera and a flashlight, uh, you scale the wall. Oh, okay. So I guess... I was just an urban explorer? Or something? Or was I the woman? I don't know. Who was I? <laughs> oh, so I need to go forward and find the entrance to the building. I like the flashlight in the, in that. Uh, here's the wall again. Oh, here's the actual. Whoa, numbs right in. Corn on the orb. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah, so that was a spray paint can that I saw earlier. Fuck drugs. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we, oh, wow. Okay, I only know where I came in at. Wow, that map is huge. Uh... Yep. So I guess it's just like an urban exploring game. I'm not entirely sure what my mission is right now. It's just find spooky shit, don't die. Oh, hi. That is kind of gross. Uh, okay, I guess I can't click on it or anything. God, there's so many boxes everywhere. I'm gonna have to find a room with a bunch of boxes in it, just so I can kind of figure out where I am. Okay, so this one has three up against a wall. Okay, so I think I'm in the bottom right-hand corner. So let's go all the way. I want to go this way. I want to go to the back left. I think. I don't know why, but it looks cool over there. Hello? Okay, so I went forward. Yeah, okay. So I need to go up here and crawl under. Because that's what the red on the map is. Okay. I'm getting it. Then here's the lone box. Go through here to the left. <laughs> Ok, 
cool. Uh, let's see, there is one... Okay, so there's three boxes in a corner. Okay, so I think I'm... on the upper left. So I'm gonna try to head. Am I there? I don't, even, I don't know where I am. I'm gonna try to head to the lower left again because I feel like that's where I wanna be. A little bit farther. Now this right. Oh, hi. A locked chest, something uh, scratched onto it. The key is in his chest, H-I-S. Okay. So I think if I go through this and then go to the right, I should be in the big shelving room, it looks like. Or is it just a tight corridor like this? It's just a tight corridor like this, okay. Well, dang it. I thought it was like a bunch of shelving, like, like a warehouse. Not just a random ass tight corridor for no reason. What even is the point of this place? Okay, let's go. Where's like a scary looking place? <laughs> oh. Um, I don't know where I am anymore. Oh yeah, I do. I'm in uh the long crawl area in the smack like smack dab in the middle. Okay. Oh, there's another chest. Uh the key is in his chest. Okay. It is it is very dark. <laughs> I need to start using that more. Oh, wow. Hi. A dead body. There's a note attached. Uh, find a knife. His. I jump on one of the hooks. Whee! So apparently I have up there, you can see I have 94 seconds of this feature left. The... God, what is it called? Night vision. There we go. I'm like actually kind of nervous now. Because I feel like I'm doing good. I've been able to go around and see the map a lot more than I did before. <sighs> Found a knife. So now let's try to go... Try to retrace my steps a bit. I think it was like back this way. Yeah, I feel like through here... There we go. Found chest key. Okay. No no problem at all about slicing this dude open. Okay. I like his little pixel nipples. Pixel nipple! Here we go. Here it is. Found the orange key door. Or door key? Sorry. I think I actually just found the door that goes to right there. Oh. Jeezum Creezum! I'm in a huge area now! <laughs> oh my god. I thought the map was big before. I was like, why are they giving me so much time with this night vision stuff? Now I see, there's there's a huge map. Okay, so it looks like there's... Okay, let's... Okay. 
So I'm looking for the a room with boxes in the middle like that. Oh, I died. Okay, good. I'm still in this one. I'm just gonna look around a little bit more. This is whoa! <laughs> Hold on, is he there again? Dude, I love it. All right, I think I'm good. I've been playing these for a hot minute now. Hi. Ah, damn it. All right, I just had to back away from him once, then he killed me. All right. I like these games. These are cute. Uh, but yeah, they're frustrating. They're they're pretty challenging. Also, you can't see shit right now. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on Friday for the next video. Sorry, no video with Max today. Uh, he had to go away for a business trip. So, sorry. Owie. Soon, though. Soon. A lot of people don't know that I'm gay. That still blows my mind. Like, I feel like I mentioned him fairly enough, right? Hey, everybody. I'm gay, and I'm married. I've been, like, I've been married since... Well, been with Max since 2007. Uh, actually, like, did a ring exchange in 2010, got legally married in 2014. Yeah, I'm gay as fuck, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, whoa, hi! Homophobe?